There is no secret. There's nothing that someone's not telling you that's gonna get you to where you wanna be. You ready? Yeah. You need to do everything that you can do every single day to get where you wanna be no matter what. Come on. Good. Come on. What's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. Right now, I'm just eating because I'm behind on calories like usual. Five ounces of chicken and 1.5 cups of long grain brown rice. So that's what I've been meal prepping with. Um, it's pretty clean, but that's not all I eat. I have other things in my diet, but that's like the main course of what I pack uh, before I go and get on with the rest of my day. But that's what I'm eating right now. It seems to be helping a lot that I'm actually meal prepping and getting ready for the week and not just kind of throwing something together last minute. So that definitely helps. Still a lot of work to be done with my diet and with training. I am making progress, but um, there's a lot of stuff I wanna work on and improve. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I did wanna show you guys my weight and my progress with that. So I will show you that now and then we'll get on with the rest of the video. All right, so this is my weight um, and I've been tracking it pretty much every day. Um, I have missed Sundays, but this is the kind of the majority of what I've been tracking so far. So as you can see, when I first started, I was around 178-ish. Um, you can see it going up and down. I have the percent increases and decreases. Um, so a lot of this, guys, was just a learning experience for me, learning how much to eat, when to eat, what kind of foods to eat. So I kind of learned as I went on. But as you can see, coming into the new year, I'm consistently in around like 185-ish. Um, got up to like 187 at one point almost so uh, Definitely improvement, but there's always room to um, Get better and I do, do have weight to gain as well So a lot of more stuff to do in terms of that, but I am happy with my progress so far Looking to reach that 190 mark pretty soon. Um, it does take time guys too to gain weight and especially gain muscle because you can only gain so much muscle in so much time, especially if you're an avid lifter and you've been lifting for a while, you won't see that many increases that quickly. Um, and then there's also like a breakdown of protein, carbs, and fibers and all that. So the chart can show all that too, but I don't look at that as much. I just look at my weight and then also what I eat for each day. So yeah, guys, like I was saying, gaining weight and gaining muscle in particular takes a long time. Um, it's not an easy process that just happens right away. If you just started lifting and you just started working out and doing weight training, you're gonna see progression in your strength and muscle mass and all that stuff pretty quickly because your muscles and your body's not used to that. But if you've been training for a couple of years, it takes a while to gain weight in a good and efficient way where you're actually gonna gain muscle and uh, not as much fat. You're gonna gain fat no matter what, but you can minimize how much fat you gain and you can maximize how much muscle you gain based on the way you train and the way you eat. The longer you've been training, the harder it is to actually um, gain muscle and stuff like that. So you all constantly have to be adapting your program, constantly pushing yourself, changing up things um, to keep everything fresh and keep your body confused. Another thing, guys, I was thinking about was my uploading with YouTube. So I haven't been uploading enough as much as I want to, and I know that, but I've also been getting some feedback from other people as well. A lot of people say they like the content, but it's not as frequent as it could be. I wanna give you guys as much content as I can, provide you guys some value and some entertainment or whatever that may be. So I'm gonna try to do uploads more often. Um, yeah, I'm just not uploading as much as I want. So I'm gonna be filming more often and uploading more often, and we'll go from there. What's up guys? How you doing? I am about to go to the gym right now. We got legs on the menu. So I'm gonna be honest right now, I'm really tired. I was helping my friend move all day yesterday. So my body is pretty much all around sore. So it's gonna be one of those days where I really have to dig deep to get a good workout in. So it's just, it is what it is guys. Sometimes, or a lot of times, you don't feel like doing what you have to do or what even things that you love. but. It's just one of those things. It's one of those days, but got to get it done. So I'm leaving there now. The Super Bowl's later today, so I'm probably going to watch that a little bit with family. But um, still, got, still got a couple hours before then. Just trying to get in the mindset for this workout. Took my pre-workout already. Going to get some water, and then I'm going to head out. For my outfit, guys, it's funny how I wear different outfits for whatever I'm training. So when I'm training legs, I usually go with like spandex for the legs with some uh, pullover long socks, and I always have my Vans for leg day. And then I usually have like a baggier shirt that covers 
my upper body. I don't know, it's just like a feel thing for me. I don't know why, but I have certain outfits I like to wear for different types of workouts, but I don't know if you guys do that too or not. But uh, yeah, dude, my Vans. I wear these Vans pretty much for every day of the week when I'm working out, but especially for leg day, they are amazing. They don't have arch support, which is not very good for like running or things like that. But for squatting and for heavy lifts where you need to stabilize more with your legs and your feet, they work really well. I'm gonna head to the gym, guys. I will catch up with you soon. So for this workout, guys, it was a very squat and leg press heavy workout as a whole. I stuck to the pretty, pretty much the basic movements of what I usually like to go through just because I really wasn't feeling that well. Like I mentioned earlier, I was helping my friend move pretty much all day the day before, so my legs were kind of shot and my whole body was pretty much tired for that matter. So I stuck with the basics, tried to get a good workout in. Um, it was one of those things where I just had to get over that mental barrier of not feeling well. Um, so sometimes it's good to listen to your body and adjust your program to kind of maximize your workout and get efficient workouts that actually uh, matter and that actually do something. But at the same time, you want to also make sure you actually get a good workout in and get over that mental barrier of not pushing yourself when you don't feel good. So it's kind of a balance between the two, but I still like to go as hard as I possibly can when I'm not feeling well, but I like to also adjust the exercises and maybe do different exercises based on how I'm feeling um, and just listen to my body and then kind of respond respond accordingly um, based on how I'm feeling. So I started off with squats. I did break out my belt for some of these sets. I got up to a 45 and a 25 pound plate on each side of the barbell. So this isn't super heavy, but I do like to use my belt just because it stabilizes my back. And I have had injuries with my back in the past, so I don't like to mess with that at all. So I really do make sure that I have proper form with squatting, or I try my best to. And then I also use that belt as kind of like a sense of security. Um, sometimes it's even just more mental, even when I'm not going super heavy, but I have that belt on, it just kind of, I don't know, it gives me like this mental security that helps me um, kind of just go through my workouts with the peace of mind that I have that there. Um, which is another step to prevent an injury. Uh, for me, it's kind of like having a uh, training partner that uh, spots you and you kind of like get an extra rep or two just because they're right there. Um, that's kind of how the belt feels for me in some ways. So I did take a break, like you guys saw, to kind of stretch my back out, um, do some like thoracic extensions over a ball um, just to fix, like, fix my posture and get ready for the next couple sets. Um, so next I moved on to the leg press. I got up to uh, two... 45 pound plates on each side and then I think I actually added another 25 pound plate as well for some of the sets um, but for the leg press guys I was really feeling it this workout so I cut my squats short and did more of the leg press so that's a great example of me when I am adjusting my workout accordingly sometimes I think this comes with experience because when I first started lifting I had a certain amount of sets and reps in mind for each exercise and then followed through with that no matter what and that can be a good thing but like I said, when, you, when you're not feeling well and having the option to adjust your program and do different things can really help and honestly it can help you have a more efficient workout as a whole. So I was feeling the leg press, I was getting a good pump, um, I was tired but it was still working so I decided to cut back on my squats a little bit and focus more on the leg press and that's what I did and I ended up getting a pretty decent workout even though I wasn't feeling great. So. Like I said, it's a great uh, trick that I like to, it's not even a trick, it's just like a rule of thumb that I like to use when I'm lifting. Um, but like I said earlier as well, um, I don't let that get me complacent. So if I'm just not feeling well, I'm not just going to like skip out on sets or an exercise. But like I said, just being efficient as best as possible is always a good thing. Um, so I did a couple sets with this weight then. I added that uh, 25 pounds with the 245 plates on each side. Uh, I was going for, in my head, I was going for about eight to 10 reps. I didn't always get that, but having a set goal in my mind going into it helped. Um, it's always a goal. I usually always try to set a goal that's more than I think I can get, and then I'll push myself further. Um, so that's the plan going into these sets. Um, more and more as I've been training for my competition and training heavier and doing less um, sets as a whole, I have been kind of shifting away from actually having a set uh, rep count in my mind as I do exercises and I'm just going for as many as I can but that's kind of a slow progression for me I don't just naturally 
not have a set goal on my mind of how many how many reps I want to get. So it's something I'm trying to learn and change as I grow and learn on as I learn uh, new things. So it comes with time for me, but I like to change things up. So I'm aim trying that a little bit. But next, I moved on to the hamstring machine. So for this machine, I was going a little bit heavier than I usually do, and I was more going for um, focusing on the contraction and the eccentric motion of the movement as opposed to doing volume and a lot of sets and reps. Alright guys, so sometimes you just have to be smart with what you're training for different body parts. So I had legs today and I wanted to do some squats and other exercises, but uh, man, I'm just, I'm just exhausted from the day before. So. You want to go hard as always, but sometimes you got to adjust your exercises accordingly to get the most effective workout as possible. And you don't want to cut corners with what you do, but just make sure you're always adjusting your program. I was squatting here, uh, got a couple good sets, but just completely exhausted. So I'm going to make the most out of my time, do some more leg presses, um, some other movements where it's not as uh, taxing in terms of just physical exertion. And that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try as hard, it just means I'm gonna do different things to work my muscles in a different way to be the most efficient I can with how I'm feeling. So don't cut corners, but uh, know what your body can take and what you can do at certain different at different times um, to get the best workout you can. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I hope you guys do the same. But uh, it all depends on how you're feeling. Um, but again, some days it's not just how you're feeling. Some days you're not gonna feel like squatting, but you gotta get your ass up and squat, so just do that accordingly, guys. Be smart. All right, guys, just got back from the gym. I am absolutely exhausted. Um, like I said before, I was helping my friend move all day yesterday, so my legs were already pretty tired. Um, but I did get a couple sets in of squatting and leg press, and what else did I do? Well, I guess you guys just saw what I did anyway, so screw it. But yeah, guys, sometimes half the battle is just getting to the gym, and if you don't feel like doing it, just do it anyway. So it's that simple, don't complicate it. You're not always gonna feel like doing stuff, but I set a plan, and I have something in mind that I wanna achieve, and me sitting on my butt and skipping the gym is not gonna get me closer to that goal. So yeah, I'm gonna close the video out here. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I will check in with you again soon. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you have not already, um, please subscribe and like this video and also share it with a friend if you think someone uh, that you know would like it. But besides that guys, I'll see you in the next one.